Welcome everyone, Meowdy. How are you all? I hope you are doing well. So in today's video, we're doing another guide like we did with Eve. I'm going to be showing you two videos. Uh, one video is me getting into the top 10 and we're going to talk over it. And I'm going to show you how I got into the top 10 and the time that I got and the tips and tricks to try and help you to get there. And I'm going to show you another video of a clip from my live stream where we were able to complete the level 32 objective for Kermit with a level 21 Kermit. So you can do both of these events. And we did this completely for free. We didn't pay a dime for any of his shards. So if we go to the shop, you can obviously buy his box or a few uh, upgrade packs. I didn't buy any of these. All I did was unlock Kermit with other characters. Once you have Kermit the Frog, you can do everything for free. And I'm gonna show you how. So my current time is 1.44. And if you have a look at the leaderboards, you will actually see a bunch of other people or just right here, actually, level 21s. So if you can get to level 21 with a Kermit, you can have a reasonably good chance of getting a 144. And that is around 101. And I'm going to show you um, how many people are playing this event. There's a there's around about 3,600. I'll show you later. So if you want to get into the top 10, you basically need to be above 360. So that's what it is now. It's probably going to be about 400 later on, maybe by the end of the event or even 500 but we don't know yet. So as for this event, we completed everything. You, you can do everything here with a level 21. There is just one really big hurdle. And this is where we begin. I, I recommend once you have unlocked Kermit the Frog, you need to go into ranked. This is pretty much, it, it's a no brainer, but in case you aren't going into ranked, you, you need to go into ranked. It's the only way for you to get more shards so you can level him up. Now you can get to MPR 16 completely for free. But we actually want to push not just to 18, but to 23. It's tricky. It is very, very, very tricky, especially with the rough matchmaking in the level 40s, the 50s, the, even the 30s. The matchmaking sucks. You have no idea how bad it was when we were trying to get to 23, but it is doable. It just takes time. But if you can get to 23, you can guarantee yourself the best chance of completing these objectives and, and getting the best time possible. Because once you do this, you secure yourself a two-star Kermit and you can get to level 21. So that is why I, I really recommend doing it. But I know it's not always possible. You might be able to get a good time still with a level 19 at rank 18. So still, I, I still recommend, you know, trying to push for uh 23. But even if you can't, you still might be able to, you know, watch this video that I'm about to show you and just get some pointers, I suppose. So let's move over to the clip. Here it is. Let's zoom in. So as you can see here, I got a really bad time just to see how many people were playing. And right here, uh, can we, can you, can that go away? It is around about 3,690. So at the time of recording, you're probably looking at about 370 is the number that you need to be above in order to get into the top 10. Now this will probably change as uh, time goes on, but that's what we have for now. Now, this is my third race. So I did three races. This is the third one. And I'm going to show you how we got that time and just give you some pointers that I, I think is very valuable to, to know. So first things first, Kermit the Frog is a speedster, which means if you want to get into the green boost section, all you need to do is hold the accelerator at the number two. As soon as the number two pops up and you hear the noise, that is the perfect time for you to get into the green. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm going to the left. So one thing that I found is that, yes, you can go on the grind rail. The grind rail is technically faster, but you're missing out on crucial item boxes. Cause if you get an extra two item boxes in a race, that could be, that could make or break your race. Two extra item boxes could be very valuable. And if you go to the left, you're also getting an extra um, boost pad, which essentially will pretty much give you your manual boost. It's not too much slower. And I think it is worth a try. If you find that going on the grind rail is better for you, then, then go for it. You completely go for it. You can, you can choose which direction you want to go. I didn't go on the grind rail and you'll see I don't do it again in the, uh, the second lap as well. So what we're also doing 
is when we're getting rush, Kermit gets rush a lot. So if you get rush, there's two ways you can use it. You can either use the uncharged version, which will give you a massive, massive boost. And it's really good to use this around corners because when you're going around a corner, you're a lot slower. And using it uh, right at the end of a corner will basically put you to your top speed for the next straight. So it basically cuts out any acceleration that you need. The other option is if you have manual boost and you charge it, and this, is work, this, this works for any ability. If you have an ability that boosts you and you get a boost while you're in the air, it actually pauses your boost meter, your manual boost bar. So you'll probably notice, you can probably rewatch uh, the race, but you'll notice my manual boost bar is getting paused every now and again when I get a boost in the air, which is, it's really good. And it basically gives you an extra second or two. Now we'll go back here for a second because it's something I actually want to bring up. If you have a two-star Kermit, I really recommend you only using his uh, uh, uncharged version, the taps, the tap version, because that's going to be giving you manual boost over time. And it's just better. If you're going to use the invulnerability, yes, it's good and it won't st uh, slow you down, but it's just better to get the boost and just, just, just hope that you don't get <laughs> stunned. Um, but also this corner here. One thing I've seen a lot of people do is they take this corner very wide, but you should actually be taking this corner very sharp like I did just then. You can do that without any repercussions and it's really, really good and it's a good way to overtake people. You can do this in ranked and regulated. It's really, really good. There's a lot of people that don't do it. Here you can see me jumping a couple of times with the charge boost and you'll notice that the manual boost bar is pausing every time I do it. Here's another version of it. There you go. It pauses. You want to go on this grind rail. You always want to go onto this grind rail because it's so much faster. Then don't go on the next one. Get an item and then jump on the, uh, the grind rail. You get an extra item this way. And what you can do is, little cheeky thing here, if you jump right before you get to the end, you can actually land earlier and, and <laughs> get another, um, uh, another item box. You can snag another item box. That's what I was trying to say you can get another item box, which is basically what allowed me to get this time of 144. Hopefully, hopefully that helped. I could show you the video again, but I think it's just best for you to replay it. There's nothing else I have to really mention. I'm pretty sure that is pretty much all of it. Yeah, there's not much else to say. I hope that helps. Hopefully you can get a good time. You can do it with a 21. You can get in the top 10. Hopefully you can do it with a 19 as well. I wish you all the best with that. But what I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to show you another video of the live stream. So this video here is a level 21 Kermit going up against level 32 bots. Now, yes, the bots cheat, but for some reason on this map, now this is probably looking a little bit, this, look, this looks a little bit weird probably with two uh, models, but on this map, they get stunned a lot because this map is actually really bad and you get, you just, you just get stunned all the time. The bots get stunned too, which is really good. So here you can see me just driving per usual. Uh, and you want to be going on grind rails as well, because that's the objective. You want 10 seconds of grind rails. So that first grind rail in the beginning of the track that I went on, you really want to go on that one. Um, you can see me using the rush. I can, I, I'm um, obviously I'm jumping when I use the rush. With this event, you want to be using your invulnerability. This is why you really want a two-star Kermit. If you do not have a two-star Kermit, you're really going to be at a disadvantage for both of these events. Now, right there, right there with that grind rail, you'll notice a massive, massive shortcut. We'll show it to you again once we get to the second lap. But basically, the bots do not go onto the grind rail. Uh, sorry, they do not cut the grind rail. You can cut the grind rail and save at least a few seconds and overtake everyone. Here's the first grind rail. We hop on this. We get a few couple of seconds. It's up to you if you want to get the boost pad or get an item. I tend to find an item is better. On this track, you also want to be getting the hammers, which give you manual boost. So get as many of them as you can. And I actually get stunned here. Now, you don't want to be getting stunned like I did. <laughs> um, what else? Kermit also has a really powerful shot. So if you can stun people with that as well, it's really, really good. And this is why we want our invulnerability because we go around this corner. You want to hug the edge. You do not want to be going outside that other lane. You basically just really want to be on the edge. Here we go. Here's the grind rail. You hop on it. You jump off. It is so much faster than actually taking the full, um, 
just the full length of the pipe. So you, you really just want to be jumping over it or jumping off of it. Other than that, there's really not much else to it. You can see that they, they tried to cheat a little bit, but we just kept getting ahead of them because they kept getting stunned by all the explosions and we just overtook them with the shortcut. And that's how we managed to get this, uh, this crew member at level 21. So there you go. It, it is doable. It's just going to take some time and practice, especially with ranked and especially with this. So try your best, everyone. Try your best. Push on. Um, I, I honestly wish you all the best. I, I hope you can get into the top 10. I really do. But you can do it completely for free. You don't have to pay a dime for any of the events once you, once you have Kermit the Frog. Thank you so much for watching, though. I, I hope I could help. I ho hopefully I can help some of you at least. Um, ciao, ciao, meow. I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, I'll see you on the tracks. So I wish you all the best. See you all. Have a good one.